is the day for which I've been waiting. Tomorrow morning at the university, Professor Chambers will demonstrate his cyclotrode, a device which is designed to detect and repel any atomic bomb attack. Unless you intend to sell the machine to a foreign government, I don't see why you want it. Because in my hands, the cyclotrode will become the most powerful offensive weapon in the world. It will instantly stop any electrically controlled mechanism. How are you going to get this machine? That should not be difficult. The demonstration is taking place before the scientific members of the university faculty. And since I am one of its professors, naturally I shall be present. You understand, gentlemen, that this model of my cyclotrode has a comparatively short range. But a full-sized machine will have a range of hundreds of miles and will be able to locate and destroy any atomic bomb or similar device long before it reaches an effective striking position. I need hardly tell you that this is a confidential demonstration and that no word of what you see or hear must go beyond this room. Professor Chambers, do you mind explaining just how this power is generated? I'm afraid I haven't the right to do that, Anderson, even among my trusted colleagues. It's three o'clock, Dr. Chambers. Thank you. I will contact Professor Richards, my assistant and collaborator in this invention. Duncan Richards? I thought he went into scientific crime detection. Well, that's true. He is the criminologist responsible for protecting the secrets of government atomic research. But he is also one of the outstanding physicists in the country. You understand, I have no idea from what location he will launch the model airplane. Calling Duncan Richards? Yes, Professor Chambers. We are ready. You may launch the plane. At what, sir? It's approaching from the northwest. Elevation, 1,200 feet. Now watch the screen. There's the plane. Amazing change. Well, comforting indeed. I haven't felt so safe since before the bomb fell on Hiroshima. Oh, you're very kind, gentlemen, but any honors must be equally shared with Professor Richards. Nice work, Chambers. Nice work. Uh, when do you plan starting work on the larger model? Well, after tomorrow, the whole thing will be in the hands of the government. And now, if you'll excuse me, gentlemen, Miss Farnsworth will summon you here again when Duncan returns. Oh, thanks. Sure, sure. Professor. Shall I transcribe these notes, Dr. Chambers? Yes, my dear, and I'll call you when Duncan arrives. I'd like to investigate the warrant. I think there's one power. Could you clean up later? I'm rather busy right now. This won't take much of your time. What's the meaning of this? It's all right, Professor. Hand me that box. We're taking it with us. Cyclotrode is useless now. Proceed with your murder. that easy, Professor. You built that machine and you can build another one for us. Come on.
happened? Professor! Great Scott, the place is a shambles. What is this riot, Richards? Who is this man? There were two men. They were after the cyclist road. What is that thing on his neck? That's what I was wondering. He's coming around. Maybe he'll tell us what it is, as well as who sent him for the cyclotron. Now look, there's a skull on that thing. What's that? What have I done? I don't know. The man is dead. The cyclotron, it's smashed. This is a major catastrophe. I smashed it myself to prevent their getting it. And it's not a catastrophe. There's a duplicate machine in the strong room at the bonded warehouse. And it'll be safe there until the government calls for it. Oh, that's, that's marvelous, James. Professor Chambers intercepted and taken to the underground workshop. Keep him there until I arrive. Who are you? I'm known to my associates as the Crimson Ghost. But in my other personality, however, I am one of your select little group of scientists at the university. Listen, I must have possession of your duplicate cyclotrode at once. If you want to save your life, don't threaten me. You know that machine was made for the government, and I won't turn traitor to save my life. Those who wear my collar relinquish their own willpower and become my slave. And I alone can remove the collar without causing your instant death. Nonsense. I will first inject the drug, which will destroy your willpower. He'll regain consciousness in about 10 minutes. Then we'll send him to the bonded warehouse for the cyclotron. I'm surprised to see you back so soon, Professor. I understood you were leaving the case with us for some time. Uh, so did I. Change of plans. Introduce your companion. This is Mr. Sherman of the War Department. He'll take charge of the consignment. I see. Just signed here, Professor. Get Professor Chambers' case from the vault. He'll identify it for you. Duncan, Professor Chambers has disappeared. Disappeared? When? The police just phoned. They found his car abandoned on Dyke Road. It showed signs of a struggle. I can't understand it. They smashed the cyclist road. The cyclist road? They must have learned of the existence of the duplicate model. But that's safe in the bonded warehouse. It's not safe while they hold chambers and can force him to get it for them. I'll have to warn the warehouse people not to release it to anyone. Duncan Richards speaking. The professor's here now to claim the case. But I thought he acted a little strange. There's a government man with him. Delay them on any pretext till I arrive. I'll be there in about five minutes. Chambers is at the warehouse. Uh, one moment, Professor. I just had word of a mix-up in our strong room consignments. I can't let anything go out until we've checked. We have nothing to do with your mix-up. I represent the government, and this is government business. I presume you have your credentials. Why, of course. Here they are. All six of them. Get them out. You two. Get inside. Unlock that door. Duncan Richards. All the way. What's up, Chambers?
counter-atomic force machine, which he calls a cyclotron. Isn't it possible that Professor Chambers could have succumbed to the temptation of easy money and sold it to a foreign government? Nonsense, Anderson. Let's hear no more of that. Duncan is an experienced criminologist. He's handled a number of such cases for the government. I suggest we delegate him to take complete charge. I agree. Good suggestion. Then it's up to you, my boy, and good luck. Thanks. I'll need it. me to get the cyclotrode for you. And you did. Why? And now you're going to build a larger cyclotrode. Not if my life depends on it. There are worse things than dying, Professor. Unless you agree in just one minute, I will inject a more powerful drug into your veins which will entirely destroy your mind, leaving you a hopeless idiot for the rest of your life. Decide, Professor. I thought that you would. Make out a list of the materials needed. What can I do for you, gentlemen? We're here on an errand for Professor Chambers. Professor Chambers? Where is he? Well, he's building a larger cyclotrode and sent us for the X7 transformer tube. Come on, sister. We know it's in the vault. Get it. something he took out of the vault. Did you see what it was? No, but he said Professor Chambers was building a larger cyclotrode and he wanted the X7 tube. The X7 tube? You know, Professor Chambers tricked them. The X7 tube is no part of the cyclotrode, but a special radium vapor tube we've been developing for a death ray machine. Why, that tube is so highly radioactive that... Say, I'm missing a bet. What? The radium detector. With this radium detector, we can follow the X7 tube wherever it's taken. That'll surely lead us to Professor Chambers, and probably the Crimson Ghost.
turn right at the next corner. Here we are. How are you coming? This is all I need to complete the job. And you're ready to demonstrate it to the Crimson Ghost? Bring him and the cyclotrode over, and I'll show him something he'll never forget. You better take this. Give me that wrench there, will you? Sure. in there. Stay here in case anyone comes back. without the aid of its inventor, by copying the model we now have. However, it will take longer and I'll need a lot of money. That's easy. We'll crack a bank. It's much simpler than that, Ash. We still have Chambers' machine, and within its range, it can stop any motor. Tomorrow morning, an armored car will deliver the payroll to the Steel Corporation. Here it comes. Something's gone haywire. Stay on guard while I check the motor.
gentlemen, there is no doubt that Professor Chambers' cyclotrode was used to carry out this robbery. You're probably right. But what steps do you plan to take to prevent more outrages? I've already taken one. As you know, heavy water is the key to the operation of the cyclotron. The supply in the tubes must be almost exhausted by now. And I suppose the Crimson Ghost can't get any heavy water. Exactly. The compound is made only by the Cornwall Chemical Company, and they won't release a drop without my authorization. That's certainly an effective step. But it may be dangerous for you. You're up against a ruthless enemy who'll stop at nothing. I realize that, Professor Parker, and I'm taking every possible precaution. I'm glad to hear that. Shall we adjourn, gentlemen? Right. I certainly. Who's there? Professor Richards, you think you have stopped me from getting the heavy water, but you shall soon know how unwise it is to stand in the way of the crimson ghost. You will be... on the table. of using chlorotene on that record. I detected the odor and kept my face close to the floor so that I escaped most of the fumes. I had an idea I might be brought to the Crimson Ghost. Now, the police can take over from here.
least I prevented him from obtaining a supply of heavy water with which to operate the cyclotrope. That's very fortunate. In criminal hands, the cyclotrope would be a terrible weapon, capable of paralyzing the industry of the entire country. Yes, but the Crimson Ghost still has a cyclotrope. We have no idea as to his identity. Have you any plans? None that look very promising. But I did receive an anonymous phone call asking me to pick up a message about the Crimson Ghost this afternoon. Oh. <clears throat> well, are you going to do it? Why, yes, of course. Gentlemen, that's all the information I have for now. Well, well, at least that's something to work on. Yeah. Diana, I'd like you to drive me. Certainly, Professor, whenever you're ready. What's this all about? Just a little scheme to prove my theory that information about my plans and movements leaks from the conference room and reaches the Crimson Ghost. I've planted an envelope up in the hills. We're going out to get it. I'm hoping some of the ghost crowd will get the news and try to follow us. So that's it. Let's go. Follow me. Right. The car we just passed is trailing us. Make the next left turn and head for Pelton Road. You will hide behind the tree and cover me in case they try to rush us. Okay. So I decided the only place to keep the heavy water was right here in our own vault. This bottle contains the entire supply from the chemical house. No one will think of looking for it here. And besides, only members of our own group know the combination of the safe. There, that's a good job done. Let's go. Anderson, you are on. Ash, go in there. Get the water. He's dead. Another victim of the Crimson Ghost. It's Ash. He got the heavy water. Follow 
following us, all right. Wait for me. when you broke the control collar. He would have been valuable to me. Now your own life is forfeit. clears up. Then we'll search it for clues. The condenser in this device is a new and powerful type, manufactured only by the Brandon Electric Company. I phoned them and found that they'd sold several of these condensers to radio shops in this area. I have the list over here. Oh, quite a number. Yes, but I'm going to check in every one of them and see if I can find the man who built this. The bottle you got wasn't heavy water. This is just plain, ordinary water. Of all the double-crossing... We've been tricked by cleverness. Something to be admired, even in an enemy. This means that the heavy water is still at Cornwall's chemical company. We'll get it tonight. Now, as soon as it's dark, I want you to go to Snyder's. Piece of machinery. Yeah, it look the best safe made. Too bad you'll never get a chance to use it. Smash that gadget. I tie him up. I'll be back for him as soon as we get the heavy water. Get loose, I'll have the pleasure of shooting you. Mind if I have a cigarette? Not at all. Go ahead. 
There's a case in my breast pocket. Well, as long as you're going to furnish him, we might as well both have one. the electric stethoscope. Good. Now I'll neutralize the high voltage in the fence. Now when you get the heavy water, take it to Cole. He has a plane waiting at Gopher Flats. We'll fly the stuff to the mountain hideout. We'll store it there until we're ready to use it. to open with this gadget. You know, with that electric stethoscope and our cyclotrode, we ought to be able to crack any safe in the country. a chance in the world to save the heavy water. Which means we must construct a plan to make our own heavy water. And one of the basic ingredients in its manufacture is refined uranium. Uranium? That's refined under strict government control. It is. But nothing stands in the way of the crimson ghost. What's the layout? 
A truckload of uranium, guarded by an armed escort, is being shipped to the Federal Atomic Plant by the Owl Creek Bridge. That's near our mountain hideout. Which will simplify things. Now, you plant the bomb on the bridge and use the cyclotrode to set it off at a distance as soon as the escort gets onto the bridge. Now, stand by your radio and I'll call you if anything develops at the conference. Calling Ash. Calling Ash. Ash talking. Go ahead. Professor Richards is going to survey the landing strip area by plane. This may bring him close to your location. If his plane discovers your truck, you may have to use the cyclotrode to bring it down. Right. If any plane shows up, we'll take care of it. Hart. Set this up on the bridge and come back as soon as you're through. Diana calling Duncan. Diana calling Duncan. Go ahead, Diana. We'll have to knock him down. There's a truck right below me and it looks like... Diana! Diana, what happened? you dropped in, you might as well stay for a while. The uranium truck's almost due at the bridge. Lock her up in the car, and I'll pick you up as soon as we're finished with the truck. Come on. I told you about has a cyclotrode on it. They used it to crash my plane, and I heard Ash say something about a truckload of uranium due at the bridge. Uranium? Bridge? There's only one bridge around here, Owl Creek. That leads to the Federal Atomic Plant. Then they must be planning to wreck the truckload of uranium at the bridge. I saw Ash head back up the hill to his truck. Come on. You grabbed my car. It's at the end of the road. Warn the truck. I'll take care of Ash. Get him up. Higher. All right, Ash, turn off that cyclotron. You've played with it long enough.
My face may be a bit on the grotesque side, my dear, but you'll get used to it. As soon as I put this collar on you, I'll have complete control of your actions. at 2 o'clock. As soon as she comes to, here's what I want you to do. Sire? Hello, Duncan. Where have you been? What happened? Dashboard short circuited, so I knew I was within range of the cyclotrode. I jumped before the bridge exploded. Smart girl. But that happened hours ago. Why didn't you call? I. Tell him you were dazed and don't remember. I was dazed. I, I, I don't remember anything until I came to about an hour ago. There's nothing to worry about now. Nothing except the crimson ghost in the cyclotrode. Fortunately, there's a way to nullify the power of the cyclotrode. There is? Tell me about it, Duncan. Six months ago, Professor Chambers and I developed a special isotron device to counteract the power of the cyclotrode in case it got in the wrong hands. The electrical impulses pass through a prism. That turns the power of the cyclotrope back upon itself and destroys it. I can see how important the prism is. Yes, I couldn't get it any sooner. It took six months to grind it. They called this morning and said it was ready. Well, will you file these? I'll step in and tell the professors you're okay. Then I'm going over to the optical company and pick up the prism. I'll give it a going over with this.
you're going to talk and talk plenty. Diana, remove the control collar. hospital in a critical condition. She appears to be under the influence of some powerful drug. Dr. Gage is preparing a serum which he hopes will restore her to normal. I am presuming that you are successful in counteracting the drug. Just how do you propose to take off Diana's control collar? She'll be brought to my laboratory where I've set up a powerful magnetic field. I hope to demagnetize the collar and clip it off. You're taking a desperate chance. I realize that. But Dr. Gage and a nurse will be there to assist me. We'll attempt to remove the collar at 8 o'clock tonight. Dr. Gage is late. Yes, sir. He telephoned he's been delayed. He'll be here shortly. What will you do with this thing? Just turn it on and hope. I'll put this extension near the collar. The dial will show when it's free of the electrical charge. Think I can put it over? Why, of course. You're the right size and build. The mask will disguise your voice. Don't worry about the real Dr. Gage. He's been taken care of. Carl will be waiting for you in the getaway car behind the gymnasium. Okay. Good evening, Dr. Gage. I'm sorry to be late. Oh, that's all right. The machine is ready. Uh, will you look at the patient? Temperature and pulse normal. You may proceed. All right, Doctor. Oh, uh, wouldn't you be more comfortable without that mask? It isn't necessary in this case, you know. Probably not. Uh, <clears throat> I have a slight cold. Don't want to take any chances. Oh, I see. And we'll go ahead. Highly important that once I start this machine, that a steady flow of electricity be maintained. Any stopping or slowing of the current might prove to be fatal.
What happened? Power must have failed. The plug is out. Are you sure you didn't kick it with your foot? Are you insinuating that I'm I... insinuating nothing. I'm asking you. And I am answering you. That's Ash. When we question him in the morning, I think we'll find out something about the Crimson Ghost. Time for me to take over. Give me the keys to the cuffs. Sure. Nice work. Crimson Ghost promised me plenty for this. Don't worry, you'll get your dough. But down the back way, there's a car in the alley with a motor running. Hurry. Okay. What's going on here? make it so realistic. Ah, quit complaining. Professor Richards punches pretty hard, too. Thanks, boys. That'll be all. We thought you were going to trail him. I am. There's a television unit concealed in the back seat of the car Ash is driving. I can watch him from here. Gee, you cook that safe anywhere nowadays. You're just in time, Diana. Oh, uh, thanks again, boys. Any time, Professor. Now we'll do a little spying on Mr. Ash. We'll wait until he thinks he's safe, and I hope he goes to their headquarters. Hello? Oh, I'm sorry, Professor Van Wick, but I won't be able to attend the meeting today. And why not? I see. All right, Duncan. What's wrong? It seems he captured one of the criminals and purposely let him escape. What? He's devised some means of trailing the crook. They expect to be able to follow him to the ghost headquarters. Well, I hope his scheme works. So do I. But Duncan hasn't been very successful so far. There's nothing to be done here. Good day, gentlemen. Manwick. Parker. Keep in touch with me by radio. Into a tunnel. Good. It must be their headquarters. Hold on until I get there. Duncan, Duncan, the Crimson Ghost just got out of his car and went into the tunnel, too. Our plan worked. I'll soon be there and capture him, and Ash, too. is a huge success. That'll be all the experimenting for today. I'm curious to know who you are. Take off that mask. Now we'll see who you are. Ash. So, it's a trick. You guessed correctly, my dear professor. Drop it. Now...
heavy water plant. and ghost escaped with the heavy water. An amazing tale, Richard. Almost right. unbelievable, in fact. As I was trying to say, I can't understand what the Crimson Ghost would want all that heavy water for. Offhand, I'd think he might be planning to use it in a large-scale model of a cyclotron, one that could possibly paralyze an entire city. And there isn't a chance of finding your so-called Crimson Ghost or stopping him from carrying out his criminal plan. The picture isn't as black as that. You see, during the fight, one of the gloves was ripped from the ghost's hand, and he left his fingerprints all over the place. I thought the explosion destroyed everything in the cave. Sure, but it didn't shake any fingerprints loose from the wreckage. I see. Uh, then you're going to dust and photograph everything in the cave for fingerprints. Exactly. I've had the wreckage hauled over to the pair warehouse. It'll be easier for me to work on it there. I must confess, I still don't understand how this will uncover the Crimson Ghost. Gentlemen, I promise you that if a suspicion I have is correct, just one fingerprint is all I'll need to confirm it. Ash, Professor Richards has sent a truckload of wrecked equipment from the cave to the pier warehouse. That junk? I'm going to the warehouse and destroy that evidence. In the meantime, you must stop Richards from getting there. I'll take care of him. So far, every step I take against the Crimson Ghost seems to be known in advance. And the professors are the only ones you confide in. Which is why I suspect that one of them is the Crimson Ghost, or closely associated with him. It seems incredible. I know, but it's the only lead I have. So now I'm trying to force the guilty one to show his hand. So that's why you told him about the fingerprints that don't exist. Right. That wreckage in the truck at the warehouse is just bait to draw out the Crimson Ghost.
stay in, Diana. Let's go. We can't, Duncan. It's stuck. Looks like the Crimson Ghost was pretty anxious to keep us from getting to that warehouse. We can still make it. We can? How? On foot. If we cut across the peninsula here, it's only about a half mile to the warehouse. so fast. Well, Professor Van Wyck, or do you prefer being called the Crimson Ghost? Now, don't jump to any obvious conclusions, Richards. I only came here to say this evidence from That's the what I hoped would happen. I suspected that the guilty professor might show up here just for that purpose. You just listened to the reason I could explain everything. You'll explain, all right, but to the proper authorities. I'll be glad to. There's no use in trying to get anything through that stubborn head of yours. That's better. Now, hop in there. Thanks to your friend Ash, we'll have to use this for transportation. Don't move. Drop your gun and put your hands up. television screen, you will have the pleasure of seeing what happens when all the city's power and electricity has stopped. That'll cause a lot of accidents and death. Make the cops turn on the heat. The cool millions being paid to me by the foreign country Count Fata represents will justify the result. But there is one other condition. I must have the original plans of the cyclotrode so that I may be sure that no one else in this country ever attempts to build one. Hello. Hello. I hope you won't think I'm curious if I ask you what's in the wire. It's from Dr. Fred A. Cushing, psychiatrist and specialist in criminal psychology. I'm going to let him have a talk with Professors Parker and Maxwell. Since the death of Professor Van Wyck, it's evident that one of the two is the Crimson Ghost. 
And do you think this Dr. Cushing will be able to find out which one's behind all this trouble? He'll be able to tell which one might be the criminal type. That'll give me a chance to concentrate on him and build up some evidence. It sounds like a good possibility. Yes, it is. I'll introduce Cushing as a government expert interested in the cyclotron. We better hurry and have dinner. Cushing gets in tonight, the 7 o'clock plane, and he'll come directly here from the airport. I'm glad you mentioned eating because I'm starved. Oh, thank you, Professor. arrives tonight in the 7 o'clock plane. They'll come directly here from the airport. This is our opportunity to get those cyclotrode plans from Richards. This Dr. Cushing will have Richards' complete confidence and be able to secure anything he asks for. So all we need to do is substitute our Dr. Blackton for him. Professor Richards, this is Dr. Cushing. How do you do, Doctor? What do you do, Richard? I'm sorry to be late. Oh, that's quite all right. The young lady here has made me feel right at home. I realize you can only spare a few days, Doctor, so we'll get right down to business. That's right, Richard. Now, as I understand it, you want me to talk to these two professors and subtly test them for paranoia or other criminal tendencies. Exactly. I thought I'd introduce you as a government expert interested in the cyclotron. Well, I'm afraid I'll have to have more than an amateur's knowledge of the cyclotron. Perhaps I could use its plan to study overnight. Why, yeah, certainly. But I'll have to send out for them. You see, since all this trouble started, I've been keeping my valuable papers in a safe at the apartment I rented secretly. Oh, Diana, will you get the plans for me? Of course. It's apartment 917, 806 Hill Street. There, I'll give you the combination of the safe. I'll be right back. Take a man and go to Richard's apartment at once. Get the plans from that girl when she opens the safe. Diana won't be long, Doctor. While we're waiting, I wonder, would you mind autographing my copy of your new book? Why, well, I'd be glad to. I hope you enjoy reading it. I'm sure I will. By the way, Doctor, I've often wondered whether your middle initial A stands for Albert, the same as mine. Why, I... Why, it does happen to be Albert. I happen to know that Dr. Cushing's middle name is Arden, and that he's left-handed as mentioned in an earlier book. You signed that autograph with your right hand. Well, I, uh... Don't alibi. Kill him. What's your game? Now, supposing you tell me where Cushing is and who you are. <laughs> Now we'll see what you can tell me about the Crimson Ghost. I uh, take off the control collar.
man is in the alley. Let's get it. man to give us a clue and no sign of the cyclotrope plans. Ash must have gotten them. Why do you suppose the Crimson Ghost wants those plans? After all, he has the cyclotrode. Maybe to check or verify some detail on the large model. But you don't even really know that he's building one. It's a pretty good guess. A criminal of his caliber wouldn't be satisfied with a small model. I wonder why Mrs. Malloy left this out here. What's the matter? It's a lot heavier than it should be. What is it? It's a wire recorder. Then someone's been picking this up and listening to everything we've said here. I'm afraid that's right. But now that we've found out about it, we ought to be able to turn the tables on them. How? We'll wipe off the conversation that's recorded here and substitute some information of our own. Then I'll bait the trap with some similar remarks at the meeting this afternoon. Do you place too little importance on the fact that the Crimson Ghost now has a cyclotrode plan? and can build an enlarged machine. No, I've anticipated the building of a larger cyclotrode and have taken steps to meet and avert any attack that may be made with it. Taken what steps? I've constructed another isotron. The moment the cyclotrode begins to operate, my device will bend back its rays, destroying the machine and all who are near it. What assurance have you that your isotron will not be destroyed as the other one was? It's well hidden at my apartment and under guard. I'm going there now to make some final adjustments. Then, let the Crimson Ghost strike if he dares. Mrs. Malloy just brought in the recorder. Good. Now we will hear the real plans of the great criminologist, Richard. But you didn't take Professors Parker and Maxwell into your confidence. Naturally not. I'm convinced that one of them is the Crimson Ghost. Then there really isn't an isotron. Oh, yes, there is. But not at my apartment. It's concealed in the wall cabinet in the main room of the University Storage Building. It's already in operation and will destroy the cyclotrode and its operators, just as I warned them. So, he's a fool, is he, this Duncan Richards? It is you he makes the fool. Silence. Yes. Get that isotron and bring it here immediately. I will not start the demonstration until it's in my hands. What is 
use that stuff? Trapper scent. The dog will follow it anywhere. imitation of the isotron. Why, it's useless, it. Richards has devised some means of trailing you. Not a chance. Nobody saw me leave there or arrive. We can't be sure of that. Go outside and stand guard. Main, start the psychotron. What happened? They must have turned on the psychotron. monster here. system, leaving the police helpless to stem the rising tide of panic and disaster. Why, the power is irresistible. Nothing can stop it. That stopped it, my ghostly friend. Get your hands up. Let's have a look at his ugly face. After weeks of following blind trails, it finally became evident that the Crimson Ghost must be a member of the faculty here at the university. But then I found the wire recorder and forced a move that brought me face to face with the Crimson Ghost. Take him away, Inspector. Come along. <laughs> 